this is a very small mixing board so there's not much to talk about and there's not much to show other than this one submix fader so what subgroups and submixes are let's say you had four microphones plugged into one two three and four and the rest you have bass guitar guitar and drums let's say you want to turn all these mics up at the same time and you have a really good mix let's say this is the mix you got it's blending great to turn them up a little if you didn't go through the subgroup you'd have to turn them up all at once like this and you could mess up your little mix that you have going on so in order to fix that the remedy for that is you assign these four mic channels to this subgroup how you do that is you need to press the mute button which is also alt 3 to 4 which means when you press this button on each channel and you press this button up here this engages this fader to be the submix so if you press in one two three and four those are the four microphone channels and then you press in alt three to four and you turn this up so instead of moving all four and trying to get a good mix there and you need to turn them all up they're in certain parts of songs you have it assigned here you can just turn this up and down and get a level for all four at once obviously if you need more on channel one you just turn channel one up it just makes for an easier mix a more professional mix So this is the large Mackie 32-8 mixing board that I'm going to demonstrate some examples of subgroups, submixes. I'm going to use these last channels here. And these are the subgroups. There's eight subgroups. This is the main fader, left and right. First of all, I'm going to deal with channels 25 through 32 these eight subgroups and the main fader first I'm going to talk about the channel assignment buttons these are the channel assignment buttons for each channel and just below that is left and right mix 
So I'll start with left and right mix. Let's say on these two channels, I want to bypass the subgroups. I do not want to use the subgroups. I want to go directly to the main fader, left and right. I press left and right mix on both the channels. I'll turn it up and then the signal will only route to the main fader left and right. It bypasses the subgroups. First, without using any signal, I'm going to demonstrate how to assign a couple channels to a couple subgroups. I'll be assigning channel 31 to subgroup 1. I'll be assigning channel 32 to subgroup 2. The first step would be to press 1-2 on each of the channels. So now that we have the channel assignment buttons pressed in for 1-2 for both channels, we're going to assign channel 31 to group 1. All you do is take the pan control, pan it all the way to the left. To assign channel 32 to group 2, all you do is pan all the way to the right. So now we have channel 31 panned all the way to the left going to group 1 and we have channel 32 panned all the way to the right going to group 2. Let's see what it looks like with some signal. Alright, I powered up the board. I'm going to turn on the CD player. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to turn up channel 31 and 32 to Unity. And then I'm going to turn up group 1 and group 2 to Unity. As you can see, I'm getting signal out of group 1 and group 2. I'm going to lower channel 31, which is group going to group 1. And you can see that the signal is gone. I'm bringing it back. Same with 32. I'm going to lower that signal. And it's gone. And then I'm going to bring it back. So now the next step is assigning group 1 and 2 to the main fader. See, nothing's coming out. Nothing's coming out. So how to do that is, you press these buttons. You assign it to the left and right mix. And now you should hear some music. Now I'm going to demonstrate an example of how I would use this if I was in a band. Let's say channels 25 through 32 are all drums, all drums and percussion. And I want to have a way to turn up all the drums all at once. How I would do this, I would start with channel 25 and I would press in channel assignment button 1-2. And I'd go all the way down the line until I get to channel 32. Then I would take the pan control for each channel and move it to the left. This assigns all the drums to group 1. So now that I have everything assigned to group 1, and everything's turned up. If I need all these drums and percussion to come down a little bit or go up a little bit, all I have to use is this one fader on group one.
Let's do another quick example. Let's say I have four vocalists. They're in channels 29 through 32. And I want to assign it to group 8. I would press in channel assignment button 7 to 8 on all the channels. Then I would turn the pan control all the way to the right. Then after I have my mix going on here, and I like this mix, and I need a little bit more vocal, all around vocal, I just turn up the one fader, up and down. And of course if I need to mix one channel at a time, I can still mix here. But this will give me an overall level if I need to turn all the vocals up or all the vocals down a little bit. Another quick note about channel assignment buttons. As you can see here, there's only four buttons. 1-2, 3-4, 5-6, 7-8. All the odd numbers are panned to the left. All the even numbers you pan to the right. That's the basic concept behind having four channel assignment buttons and only one pan control.